Hello everyone, welcome to my channel that's a free automation learning channel and my name is Chita. Today we are going to discuss what is base URI and endpoint. When we are doing API testing then this base URI and endpoint is the sum terms which we often heard. So we will discuss in this video and how we can use uh, in rest assured we also discuss this. So let me open my paint and we'll discuss about it. So for this, suppose there is a URI. Let me copy some URI. I will copy this URI. Let me copy this and will on paste. So this is URI and I will copy, right? So what is the base URI and what is the endpoint? So we will discuss this to see. So this part, let me change a color and put, okay. So this part is a base URI, right? Base URI. And the remaining part is this is a base URI and remaining part is and point right so so question is that what is a base uri and what is a endpoint so if you can see this base uri is a uh, fixed it uh, it is a uh, means it is a uh, change for environment to environment for this uh, if uh, the qa uh, uh, tester is testing in qa environment the base uri is different and if it uh, work in staging environment then base uri is different because it vary in uh, as per the environment but the endpoint is the same it keep it remains same whether it will uh, uh, qa test in uh, qa environment or if qa test in uat environment the base uh, the endpoint remain same but base uri is changed so this is for the base uri and endpoint this is the difference between so we in our code we need to also manage same thing if something if uh, currently we are running our automation script in qa environment then we just change a base uri we do, do not need to change the endpoint if uh, my scripts uh, goes to uat environment then i need to up, uh, upgrade or modify base uri but do not need to change endpoint so for this uh, how we can handle this uh, in our rest assured we will see this right so in previous video i have created a get method with path param and query param right so let me change this path param and this is for query param now i have to use now base uri so how i will do i just create a constructor over here and for constructor i use base uri let me base uri for rest assured and will pass a base uri right so this is my base uri and i will just copy this base uri and paste on here and this base URI is string type 
so I will give URI here and for here what I need to do I need to pass a base URI same for I will do for here also base URI and will change now we will create an object and see whether it is working or not then I will explain how it will work so this obj is equal to new get method obj dot path and I will pass id1 and we will run and see what will be the result so you can see we will get the expected result now how, how it work we will I will show you here so this is the base URI I put the base URI here and then I just pass our endpoint here right if I just show the diagram so this is my base URI I I mentioned base URI and constructor when I uh, create an object then this constructor called and it will set this base URI in base URI part and after that this is my endpoint and the endpoint of this same thing I have to for this base URI for the query param and this is the endpoint so my if I need to change the base URI I will change from here in one place I do not need to change in two places right so this is the use for the base URI and endpoint I hope you understand the concept of base URI and endpoint so thank you for watching this video bye bye take care